We know that smoking is still the biggest single cause of lung cancer. More than 85% of people with lung cancer have it probably because they smoked. Um, we know that probably about a third of people who come to our lung cancer clinic are still smokers. Uh, and so we need to do whatever we can to help them stop smoking. Um, for many patients, the best way of getting them to stop is referring them to a stop smoking service and they can use uh, tablets, patches, as well as behavioural support to stop smoking. There'll be some patients though who've already had those medicines and who don't feel confident to stop smoking that way. They've tried it and didn't, it didn't work out for them. And so many of them will want to use vaping or e-cigarettes to help them quit. Um, we know that um, most people who start e-cigarettes do it because they want to quit smoking. That's their motivation. And so uh, we know certainly in, in England, uh, the rate of smoking has reduced over the last few years since the use of e-cigarettes has gone up massively. Um, and so we think that um, using e-cigarettes uh, can be an aid to stop smoking. Um, it's, although we know that it, it's probably not entirely harm-free, it's much safer than smoking tobacco. It's going to depend on what country you're at, but certainly in the UK, um, there are vaping shops um, all over the place in, 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 in cities and towns, and people usually buy their own because it's something that we don't prescribe or, or use. Now, in the UK, at the moment, there's no licensed e-cigarettes. And so um, even though um, in theory we could prescribe them if there was a licensed product, there isn't one at the moment. At the moment there are lots and lots of studies coming through. Um, there was a Cochrane analysis looking at um, uh, e-cigarettes that was published oh, probably three or four years ago now um, that showed that they help people to quit. The rate of uh, quitting is great in people who are using uh, nicotine e-cigarettes than not. Um, the short-term side effects were equivalent um, in placebo or, or, or nicotine e-cigarettes. So they, they appear to be safe in the short term. I'm afraid we don't have any long-term data because they're still a relatively new product. And the other thing I have to say is that um, the products are evolving massively. Um, so each year you have new e-cigarette products. Um, and so it's hard for research to keep up uh, because by the time a research study is completed, the e-cigarette market has moved on.